What's up, everybody? What's up, everybody? You're listening to For, listening the, record to For the Record with your host, Nugs B. Uh, 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 it's For the Record, son. Yeah. Yeah. It's for the. It's for the record. I said it's for the. It's for the record. Yeah, boy, it's for. What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Nugs B. Thank you for tuning in to Together FTR. I am joined by my brothers. You already know we in the building killing shit, my friend. I got Chris with me. I got Salts with me. It's going to be a dope-ass episode, man. I'm really excited. It's been uh, long overdue bringing these back. I'm going to try to do two a week to uh, make up for lost time. So on and so forth, motherfuckers. Motherfucker. So we're going to kick this off like we always do with the entertainment history. With some history. Entertainment. On this day in 2018, the Queen biopic Bohemian Rhapsody, starring Rami Malik as Freddie Mercury, opens in theaters. It wins four Oscars, including Best Actor for Malik. That was a good fucking movie. Dude, movie was so yeah. good. Loved it. Did you get to see it? No. You didn't watch it? No. Yeah. Fair enough. I'm not a big fan Dude, as far of as the biopics go, that bro, I love right Queen. Up, that was right up there with. Uh, like Make sure Ollie, to scoot up to the mic. You know what I'm saying? Ollie and Ray. Yeah, bro, 100%. Yeah, th- honestly, <clears throat> that's what I was... Uh, Ray was super dope. Ray was awesome. Ray was super dope. Ray was probably the best one. Yeah. Or Walk actually, the Line. Walk the Line. Yeah, walk the Line, yeah, walk bro. Line was. I just watched a thing today about Ray and Jamie Foxx getting his first meeting with Ray Charles, and they sat down, and Jamie Foxx was actually a trained piano player uh, he went to school for. And nobody even knew that when they gave him the role. Yeah, that's but pretty he dope. got to meet Ray Charles the first time, and they sat down and got the jam. Dude, together. that's so and cool. That'd be cool. And so cool. It was really cool to watch, man. Ray Charles, like his uh, mannerisms and and the way that he spoke, and then you think about Jamie Foxx in that movie. The way he played a well blind man. Yeah. you know what I'm saying. Like that, yeah, that would be really that would be difficult. Like to, you know what I'm saying. Like to to have to play. A blind person. Gotta like, be just weird. the way, the way that he would just do. You know what I'm saying? When he was playing the piano and shit, like he, Ray, he pulled Ray Charles off very yeah, well, I super think, well. You know what I mean? Looked like, like him, sounded like him, acted <coughs> like him. He really did a killer job. Yeah. Another thing is about like, that is like, remember Leonardo DiCaprio playing a mentally handicapped person oh, yeah. in What's, What's Eating, Eating Gilbert, Gilbert Grape? Grape. Yeah. You know what I mean? Or Cuba yeah, Gooding Cuba Jr. in Radio. In radio. Oh, man. You feel it's me? True. Like, imagine how tough that had to be, bro. I am real. Yeah, hundred percent. What was the one with Robin oh. Williams? Jack? Jack. Yeah, Jack. But he wasn't really handicapped, though. No, he had, like, he was an like, age progression yeah, 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 thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, he was like, like a, a Benjamin Button type He was like a kindergartner shit. in a 40-year-old body. You yeah. Know, fantastic movie, though. 100 Had your dude Bill Cosby in there. Oh, God. I forgot. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. What's happening? Oh, goodness. Oh, no. But I really enjoyed the movie, and I would definitely put it up there with uh, Ray, Walk the Line. <coughs> it was a good Excuse one. Me. I liked it a lot better than that uh, Elton John, the Rocket Man that they did. I didn't even watch it. Uh, I heard it was like more like a musical. Yeah, it see. really was more of a musical. Yeah. No, mom and dad and <coughs> my nephew saw it, but uh, they said it was all right. Yeah, James is real into. He loves musicals though. Yeah, you know what I mean. Well, like he, he enjoys. He just, he just loves music. Like, yeah, really absolutely. And he and that. he's into he's theater, theater and stuff like that. So yeah. like, it makes yes. a lot of sense that he would be down with he's that. You big know into movies. Hundred percent. Loves them all. Yeah, that's crazy, bro. What is it? Yeah, my mic's on, right? Yeah, that's what I was looking at right now. I think I just, uh, here, speaking to it again because yep. I don't know. Can you hear yeah, me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. I didn't hit the button. So, you know, Jeez, hey, look, hey, look, I'm out here slipping sometimes too. Look. So I've been just rambling for the nah, whole time. Nah, rookie. Nah, nah, it picks it up in this, Fucking son. Rookie. <laughs> Come <laughs> Come on, fucking rookie. Fucking amateur hour. Yeah. Yeah. Straight up, man. Straight up, man. Get your life together. You feel me? I'm trying, baby. Yeah. I'm doing my best out here. But, Jesus. um. Got me up here for amateur hour tonight. That's sad. But what I will say, but. but on my point, I was gonna say, it definitely, it definitely is up there with all the greatest uh, biopic movies. And game. honestly, dude, I was talking about this on the last episode, and I was talking, uh, I was talking to somebody else about this the other day as well. Um, Get Richard I Tryin' is probably the best fucking rap movie dude, of all time, bro. I was just to ask, would you consider Get Richard I Tryin' and Eight Mile a biopic? That's what I was getting, literally, bro. 
Get Rich or Die Trying, in my opinion, is probably the um, best rap movie that ever came out. I'd say Get Rich or Die Trying would be closer cool than Eight Mile. Yeah, because what is it? <laughs> What'd you say? I said even better than Cool as Ice. Yeah. <laughs> better than fucking. Better no, than. Uh, I'm talking about. Even better, man, I'm fucking old. Better than. Uh, <laughs> It was a shitty movie that came out. Than, it was like straight to VHS. That's how old. Uh, Vanilla Ice. Oh, okay. I 100% know on, what that's on Yeah, 100%. I've, I've never watched 100%. it. Yeah, I've heard I was trying to think of one that was the real garbage, movie though. No, but eight mile, 8 mile wasn't actually, like, based on Eminem's life. Yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? Was, they made up the like story. Like, I mean, Get Rich or Die Try kind of was like that, too, though, I feel like. I feel like it was loosely yeah, it, based it, it, on it his life. It was closer. Yeah, it, it was closer to his real life than 8 Mile was, for sure. Loosely based, for sure. For sure. You know what I mean? But whereas Walk the Line was very, you know... Pretty spot on for most of it. Also with uh, Ray, you know, that was also pretty spot on, you know, like uh, Walk the Line, Ray, Bohemian Rap City. Uh, I wasn't a big fan of the uh, Tupac. The uh, I didn't even, watch, even it. watch that one. Yeah. I didn't watch. I no, want him to ruin. Notorious Pac. was good. Notorious, I liked was good. it. Good, bro. Notorious yeah. was dope. No, uh, I didn't want him to ruin Pac for me. You know what right. I mean? Like I want to remember. I, like the way the they set it up was shit. weird. They, it you was know? like interviews with him in jail. Straight out of Compton yeah, was, was good. Dude, Straight out of Compton was fire. That was really good. That really that was. One was dope. Yeah, Cube's uh, son playing yeah. him. It was asked, perfect. Because yeah. he looks just Absolutely. like him. Dead perfect. ass yeah. like He looks him, just like him. That's fucking crazy, bro. But yeah, we're going to move on because uh, we'll get on a tangent and we won't come back. We can't be real then, my Lost friends. Lost in the rabbit hole. Believe that. So the next thing on entertainment history is on this day in 1999, Lil Wayne's debut studio album, The Block Is Hot, shoots to number one on the Billboard albums chart and goes on to sell 1.4 million copies worldwide. What year was that? 99. 99. 99. I was eight years old. Yeah, that's where I started. Yeah. That was it. Literally. 99. Never really cared too much for Lil Wayne. Fair enough. I feel like he was like after your era of rap that you liked. You liked very gangster like like rap. rap, Like and then when he came, he was more like punchlines and like sound good. Like it it would sound good. You know what I mean? And then he would do metal. Yeah, Yeah. like he he completely changed. It was about that time. Early two thousands style switched up. I really kinda lost interest in a lot of rap music. But as far as my age group, Lil Wayne top. Top, right. top three, yeah, top. Guys, I mean, yeah. absolutely. Because the thing was, man, whenever 2008 hit, and he just became the best thing ever. Like he was the best thing since sliced bread, bro. Like this dude literally yeah. took over the game and was using other I'm people's saying, beats. Really, really, the Carter Two on, bro. Yeah, period. From that's, the Carter that's, Two yeah. on, I don't know what year the Carter Two came out. Probably <coughs> what? Oh three, oh five. I was gonna say oh four. Like, I don't know, I'll but yeah. right really, he he's been doing it since then, bro. Because then Let's it was see. just. It was just mixed. Oh, five. That's what I'm saying. Mix December tape December 6th, 2005. Mixtape after mixtape after yeah. mixtape. Album after and album three, after single yeah, after bro. single of features with some of the dopest artists in the game. Like, he genuinely it's was like that. It's like over, that bro. shit you tagged me in on Facebook the other day, bro. The dedications, so Drought 3, Drought, No Drought Ceilings, nasty, and then Sorry for the Wait. Sorry I mean, it was just... So he, he I did. know what the fuck y'all are yeah, talking about. Yeah, yeah, we lost my man over here. Sorry, bro. Sorry. Yeah, we went on a little Wayne tangent. It yeah, happens I, sometimes. I could give a good goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not a little Wayne fan. It's Literally, all right. Yeah. All right. So this one, I thought whenever I was, I was reading these earlier while I was taking a dump. I just figured I'd let y'all know that because on the last episode, the clip was, you know, it's nice. It's good to take a good dump and, and read a book. You know what I'm saying? So get educated. I do a lot of reading on the yeah. toilet. Get educated is what well, I'm trying to say to y'all. You carrying feel me? The, carrying a book into the bathroom. You feel right? me? I mean, it happens. And me and Lambert was talking about it, bro. Like, what'd you do before you had a phone? Magazine. Read yeah. the it, oh, read the yeah. ingredients on the back of a Lysol can. You know what I'm saying? Like, you want some old bleach <laughs> shit? I, I like, like toilet like bowl cleaner? Uh, Uncle John's uh, bathroom reader, bro. Y'all don't remember yeah. that? No, my I don't remember that. Had one of those. I don't remember that. that. Bro, I remember one of those. These, yeah, uh, yeah, sharper I re- image catalogs and shit that, that we kept in the bathroom. So I'd be just sitting there looking at, like, James Bond gadgets and shit. <laughs> shit you know? This no. motherfucker watching Spy Kids and right. shit the reading Uncle a book. John, you feel the me? Uncle John's, bro. That it just had the most random facts ever. Ever, bro, you That's would dope. learn the coolest shit it. about the weirdest yeah, shit, bro. I don't remember it at all. Yeah, the yeah, only yeah. one like I feel like in my dad's crib, he probably had like some Playboys and like some country living, catalogs. like hunting, yeah. like hunting catalogs, like NASCAR, NASCAR shit, yeah. like. like the channel speed if it was put in a book. You know what I mean? Like real shit. Like that's how he rocked. Well, I bro. told you before, man. My papa, I remember growing up, 
having ride with my grandma to the store and get him a Wall Street Journal, and he Believe would that. sit on the toilet Shit. for two hours just and kill study him. study the Wall Street Journal. <laughs> but he made a killing off the stock market kill him, in his bro. life. You know the what I mean? Is, yeah, yeah. And the thing is about stocks, bro, you got to be in it every oh, day. Yeah. You got to watch it every yeah, day. You, you really got to read. Gotta you got to be knowledgeable. Yeah. You got to know the right people who know what the fuck they're doing, too. It takes you know a really I mean? intelligent person to do Absolutely, that. Absolutely, bro. Yeah, that shit's way above my pay grade. So yeah, it's, it's, it's different for real. So I this one does it for me. Yeah, believe that. Yeah. Just send it into the crypto. Right. You know what I mean? The cryptocurrency, <laughs> motherfucker. Um, so this one I thought was really dope As I was taking a dump earlier We got on a tangent again yeah, That's just how we rock You know what I'm saying uh, On this day in 1998 President Clinton gives his first in-depth interview Since the White House sex scandal To black entertainment television talk show host And political commentator uh, Tavis Smiley On the network's BET Tonight with Tavis Smiley You said that was in 99? 98 98 I was 7 years old I was 2 What's that, first grade? Um, yeah, I'm vaguely, I vaguely remember. Yeah, the, the, yeah, I, I yeah, vaguely I remember. Too. You know, I, I was a kid, but I remember being in in grade school and Isn't hearing about Bill Clinton. And, and I remember everybody loved fucking Bill Clinton, man. They yeah, loved Bill Clinton. I love. Him. Yeah, from what I understand, fuck you talking he, about? I still love him. I mean, he was, it, from what I understand, he was a dope president. Yeah, like, life, he did. Like, he did I mean, he's shit. a murderer. Let's make no mistake. <laughs> Let's make. My has got. He's got. This motherfucker got confirmed kills, but you know he's got he's got a couple bodies. But I fuck I fuck with him. Yeah, you know, watch what you say, man. We yeah, ain't we got the internet. You know, what I'm saying? you know, it Who's is listening what it to is. this right now. Hillary's hot. Ain't nobody listening to this. Hey, man, she hot, man. Hillary hot out here with the fupa. She, she got the fupa. You feel me? Not the oh, fupa. <laughs> what were you yeah. saying though? You were talking about. You remember it going on? What? It was in '98, so like oh, yeah. you graduated. I, that, I graduated in '99. That's what I was about to so say. Like, so yeah, it was, it was before that. Oh, that was your prime yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, that was the first interview he did. I remember reading papers on that shit in school. Uh, about the whole impeachment process they tried to do oh, to Clinton okay. and everything, and man, it was. <laughs> but he was one of the first presidents, at least in my lifetime, that like really changed the game. He was almost like a fucking rock star there when yeah. he was campaigning and everything. Everybody loved Bill Clinton. Yeah, but that, that's how I learned what was like impeachment was. Shit. Yeah, that's how. Yeah, yeah. that's how Me I too. learned Me what too. impeachment was because I was a kid and I heard them talking about Bill Clinton and yeah. I heard them talking about impeachment. And then I was like, well, what is, what's I mean, impeachment? Truth be told, if yeah, I was I mean, married like, to Hillary Clinton, I'd have been getting my dick sucked in the other house, too. You better believe that. Yeah. Jesus Christ. You wouldn't smash Hillary? <laughs> Fuck no. Back in the day, I would have. Like for, no for good measure, you know. I mean, Hell why no. not? You yeah. know what I mean? When in Kansas, you feel me? Like or Arkansas, my bad. He was from Arkansas. Yeah. When in Arkansas. Arkansas. You, Arkansas. you feel Arkansas, dog. What's good? But no, what I was gonna say, man, is like it's so crazy to think that Things like the the Clinton scandal and like Richard Nixon and like OJ and like all this shit. So like think about like this, bro. Now we have technology, so we're getting like news right. like every single day, twenty four seven. Twenty four seven news right. broadcasting has changed how we view things oh, in the absolutely. world. Most Whereas definitely. this thing lasted for ten years, like heavily, yeah. you know. Yeah. Whereas like today, if somebody gets killed tomorrow, we won't hear about it next week because something new will happen. Right. Because right. it's we're, they're so in the public eye, you know, people that are celebrities or politicians and. So on and so forth, and you know, like it's the crazy. population you goes up. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. That's real like, shit. You just mentioned OJ, uh, dude. I remember that whole summer, my grandparents moved the kitchen table, excuse me, into where they could see the the living room TV. You know what I mean? They moved it out further into yeah, the kitchen yeah, yeah. so that they could get a closer view, and they literally were glued to the TV all day watching that damn trial. Yeah. And I, even in school, when the when the verdict came out, they had everybody in my school go to the library and they put that shit on the TV so we could all watch it live happen when they gave him the not guilty verdict. Uh, yeah, I mean, That's history. crazy how that shit works. Yeah. And, and you end up watching trials yeah. on TV. You're watching that, other that's people's... What I'm saying. Like you don't saying, do like that anymore. It's it's so like private life type shit. Like you're, you're watching serious <laughs> shit in these oh, people's yeah. lives. Yeah, like <laughs> they're, the they're putting Depp, it... Uh, yeah. Amber Heard trial. Well, like, like the OJ trial when that was going on? I wasn't around for it, but I, I mean, you know, you, you see so much about it over the years. Like they right. talk about it so much. They do, I felt like I they do all these documentaries about, about it and shit. Just watching that damn trial. Like, I mean, they really dive into people's personal shit and air it right out there on national TV for the world to see. Yeah, And even even like uh, I think it was uh, it might have been Rodney Dangerfield or it was some it was some comedian I was watching on a talk show I can't remember who it was now but they were talking about like they pretty much predicted that it was gonna be like that like there was gonna be a change of fame yeah. in the sense of like one day there will be you know paparazzi is gonna be to the next level 
And like I can't remember who it was, man. I, I can't remember what it was. I'm gonna have to look that up. But anyways, yeah, that person called it though, man, and where they were talking about how one day like there will be no privacy because back in like the eighties and nineties, like there was right. privacy it for was. rock stars, man. Like unless they wanted you to know about what they were doing. Pretty much, it was under right. tight, you know, it was, it was under wraps. Papers, yeah, magazines, and, and then like what, radio, the and yeah. like you, you know, didn't have TMZ. No, and you didn't have, yeah, the day. So bro. you didn't have you the didn't paparazzi have like they are now. Yeah, like notifications on your phone whenever yeah. something happens. For Instagram, real, Apple News, shit. bro. You like a magazine Twitter. or the newspaper. That's, and that's it. it. You see it at Walmart whenever you get some shit, bro. You see like the yeah, bro. Yeah, like yeah, hundred percent, like. This person's fucking this person. This person's divorcing this person. You know, like, yeah, hundred percent, man. The National Enquirer. <laughs> yeah, bro. But everybody's seen those magazines. They still. I, I think it's fucking hilarious when I go Kro- to like Kroger or something. I'm grocery shopping. And I still see them. Oh yeah. They're still there, yeah. bro. I wonder. Like, I want to know the fucking animals that read those, bro. Like, I want to meet that fucked up person. <laughs> like, I was like, who's reading that now? Like, what were they called? Like, Life. There was like stars and yeah, shit. Yeah, like, uh, they, they were so <laughs> stupid. Like, I don't one know word. One black and white one that's always got like the cave kid. Yeah, on the front yeah, of it. yeah, and yeah. Then, it like, was um, Jesus is risen somewhere in in like the Netherlands, and that'll be like the little headline at the top. It was like what Men in Black made fun of, yeah, and that's how you yeah. actually find yeah. things. You know what I mean? Like they'll be like. Like Mothman yeah. struck here, words, yeah. yeah. Mothman, it's fucking crazy. And and make no mistake, bro. Speaking of Men in Black, dude, I think that might be my favorite role the of aliens, fucking man. Will Smith, bro. Really? Dude, either that, that or I Robot. No- I robot. I robot. Yeah. Fire, bro. That Those are your favorite Will Smith roles. No, I mean, what would that, you say is better? There, but Mike Lowry. 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 I am Legend. I am Legend was good. It was good. Legends. Robert Neville is that his yeah. name, right? Yeah. Okay. There's a lot of them, man. <coughs> you gotta think. Dude. There's a lot of good ones. It's hard. Day. It's hard to put Men in black, number bro. one. Men in Black. It's hard. I, you'd have, we'd have to do top three. So I'm gonna go Men in Black. I'm gonna go I Robot and. My third would probably be Mike Lowry. That's probably that's, that's top three, bro. What about you? Mike Lowry. <laughs> he, said, hey, he, said, he said, I can't sound like Mike. I got so many said, bitches like hey. a Mike Lowry. <laughs> he said, hey, this is Mike Lowry. <laughs> he said, he said, she says, I need to speak to Mike Lowry. She's like crying and shit. Hey, this is Mike Lowry. You know what I mean? But... That's top three for me. I do bro. like the I, I like him in I Robot. I Robot was though, cold, bro. I Robot was and, a and dope that was movie. when he first got jacked too, bro. Like yeah. he was fucking swelled up, you know. Like he was the real deal. Like he wasn't no punk dude from Philly no more. Like yeah. he was a big motherfucker, you know. I mean, back yeah. then CGI wasn't putting muscles on motherfuckers. Like he was getting them. I mean, he's probably doing steroids, but still, bro, he was he was jacked for real. Did you see that dad bod picture he put out? Yeah, hundred percent, bro. Yeah. He had the gray, he, gray, his hair's all fucking gray, his facial hair like stuff. Uncle Phil than Will Smith. I believe that, dude. But the thing is with him is like, dude, he can just get jacked so quick because right. he has muscle memory. You know what yeah. I mean? Like when you do Plus, teeth, well, you got money like that. Yeah, and you're just, you, you can have anything eat else exactly to do, how right? you need to it's eat. Like, like you you gotta, man, he gets all jacked and yes. then he loses how much weight for that he, one roll? Dude, uh, that one? Uh, like the machinist. Was that's that, uh, the one? Yeah, he got ripped. That's, then, is that the one? And then the, the one that he was in Mark Wahlberg about the boxing movie. He got he got skinny for that one too. Yeah, the fighter. He got real skinny for that, but the machinist he was tiny, bro. He looked like fuck. And skill and then, like, bro. Yeah, for for real. He was 200 pounds. And then he was back to yeah, back oh, to the yeah, dark yeah. night, man. Bro, and then he like, went to American Hustle. You ever yeah. watch that? Yeah. He was fat yeah. as hell. Yeah. 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 Dick Cheney and got fat. <coughs> You're right. <coughs> that was fucking awesome too. Dude, he's, fucking he's a great Dick actor, and I gotta hey. give him the credit, man, and the respect. He really puts his yeah, body Chris, through it to get the roles. Yeah, Christian Bale's dope. Man. Absolutely. You motherfuckers never picked your top three of Will Smith, man. Drop them. Oh, yeah, I did. Fucking, what? You said uh, Mike Lowry. Mike Lowry, Robert Neville, and Ali. Oh, yeah. Ali, bro. Good yeah, call. I that was a good fucking Ali, call. Bro. What's your top? Probably iRobot. Uh, I Am Legend. I Am Legend's good, man. I need to read that book. Mike Lowry. Yeah. Mike Lowry. Bro. <laughs> Mike Lowry, bro. <laughs> period. You got to put him up there. Period, bro. Fucking period. I mean, he was dope in Pursuit of Happiness, too. Don't yeah. get me wrong. You're yeah. Like, that was all that movie. Dude, you need to. It's really nah, fucking it, it's, it's sad, bro. Yeah. I mean, it's that's a sad, not a yeah, yeah. Make you cheer up a little bit. Yeah, yeah. You know? serious, bro. <laughs> what was that? 
I'll go ahead. Uh, the, he did another movie, uh, Focus. I never got to see all of that. Either. Is that with Margot Robbie? Yeah, yeah. That motherfucker they, was where they were sick. Gambling and bro, shit. no, they yeah. were pickpockets. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah that shit was cold, bro. About that, one, that shit was cold, bro. Oh, that Hitch. one was dope. Hitch, bro. Hitch, Hitch, was good. Hitch was good, but that Focus, that was a dope-ass movie. Yeah, bro. Focus with Margot Robbie, yeah, when, smoking hot in that whenever, motherfucker, uh, too. Whenever, Fire. Bro, whenever they went and they, it was like the, the song was playing and that's how they knew what numbers he was picking, bro. Yeah, That was dope, man, how they Everything that. about it, bro. The way yeah. they said everything up was yeah, just cold. Was sick, bro. What is it? Margot Robbie is so yeah, bad, bro. She's, bad, bro. she's bro. one of the most yeah. beautiful women I've ever seen in my life. I bro, think. Tarzan. She, when she was in Tarzan, bro, she was fine. Legend of Tarzan. Saying, Wolf of Wall Street. Wolf of Wall Street. <laughs> Wolf of Wall yeah. Street, yeah. though. She, oh, she <laughs> probably top Wolf of Wall Street. Never. Yeah, you're probably right. Never. Never. And she was Harley Quinn. Like, come on, man. She is beautiful. Yeah. yeah. I love you, Margot Robbie, if you ever watch this. <laughs> God, you'd be tremendous. For real, she was hot as Harley Quinn too. Even though like Suicide Squad, the first one kind of sucked. Yeah. And like, I'm Batman not a big versus... DC fan, bro. You I know am, me, bro. Really like the Dark Knight, I was into him, but the movies I'm, a, I'm a Marvel fan. They're, they're bro, yeah. The DC I was cartoons literally, are on right. point. Right. I was literally about, about to say, the bro. MCU, right. Yeah, movies. They can't compete like, with nah, Avengers really and all that shit compared to like Justice League. Avengers for real, for real. compared to Justice League, like the no. here's the thing that sucks about it, and the truth is that Justice League would beat the fuck out of the Avengers, though, bro. Martian Manhunter alone would smoke every person in the I'm Avengers. Just saying, bro. bro, if you just but talk, movie I'm just wise, talking about the movies alone, I'm not talking about the comics or, or any of that shit. I'm just talking yeah, about absolutely. movies alone. Movies alone. They, DC they, sucks. They don't. Yeah, they, they suck, don't bro. hold up. Bro. Their cartoons and comics are yes, so good. Yes, they and then really the are. Movies yeah, got, just yeah, blow, the dude. Terrible. Like it's fucked up. They do terrible with so the movies. Terrible, and gritty, and wonderful. Yeah, hundred percent. Got so Look. much uh, supply of stories and bro, characters that they can deep. use. Did you ever watch that show Gotham? Nah, but yeah, you told I mean, me it's I, fire. I watched. I watched a few episodes of it, bro. And what I saw, I liked. Yeah, it was all right. Uh they could dive into so many different characters. The dude, the dude that was the penguin, man. Oh, yeah. uh, he's, he's been really he's good. been in quite a few movies. Yeah. Uh, he's pretty good. In Gotham, yeah. yeah. I didn't, I don't watch it. Titans, it, okay, is I'll tell you, cold, dude, Titans, Titans is cold, bro. That's a badass Titans show. The DC does not did. follow the comic book storylines or the cartoon, but, but it's good, man, bro. It is really yeah, good. Yeah, that's like just it. nice, bro. For it's, real. Uh, season four is gonna come out, bro. Also, one that we we forgot about that we don't talk about anymore: Young Justice, bro. How fucking dope yeah. was that shit, dude? That was I one of my favorite. I never did ones. watch the last season. That I didn't they watch put the last season either because they they took so long in between then, the yep, third and fourth seasons just, that I need to start yeah. over. But dude, those first two seasons happened. really really good. Yeah, fucking uh, Kid Flash, fucking Aqualad, uh, Artemis. <coughs> Let's see here, Dick Grayson. Not Dick Grayson. Dick Grayson, <laughs> bro, that's my guy. Yeah, believe that. Believe that. So speaking of superheroes, so if you guys had to pick two superheroes or villains, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> from any comic book or movie or cartoon or whatever, if you could pick two that you would want to see fight, who would it be? Ooh. Any of them. Man. It's tough. Really? It's a tough fucking just, question. Just any matchup that I'd like any to see. Any matchup. That you, bro, it could be from anime. It could be from... Does it have to be I like the same anime, genre? Like each Fair enough. So, so throw, superheroes like, for you all. Like Batman against Darth Vader. Period. Oh, yeah. Because I'd love to see that shit. That would be fucking awesome. Batman probably smoked Vader. I think he might. He probably... He bro, might, Batman's smoking the, Vader, he's bro. He's the master tactician. He truly I think he is. probably would get the upper hand, but man... Like, the Force is hard to fuck with, though. Right? It depends you know, on where they're at, too. Scene in Rogue One or the, yeah. the Obi Wan Kenobi Obi-Wan, show, bro. man. Yeah, that he, was really, really good. Vader's the shit. No shit, he truly is. Did you watch that uh, Jedi Tale yet? No, I haven't. I haven't man. watched it. It looks so good. real good. Young Count you already Dooku, finished it? Of course. Oh, yes. It's only like five episodes. They're like 20 minutes a piece. Darth Tyrannus. Dude. So dope. Did they mention it, Darth Tyrannus yeah, in it? Okay. It shows okay. like, like it that shows name that he goes his by turn to the dark side. It's fucking killer. It shows Ahsoka Tano and how she survived Order sixty six. <coughs> That's fucking cool. Like, Man, it I need shows to watch her as this. a baby. Like her, the fir- very first episode is Ahsoka Tano being born and yeah. being a, a baby and shit. I need um, to watch that for real. Yeah, you really need to check it out. It's, it's got young Qui Gun Jin. That's killer. And then it's got like it's Yoda in it as well. Yes. Yeah, I was like, it's Yoda Mace trained Windu's Dooku in it. Yeah, Yoda um, trained Dooku, bro. It, <coughs> like, it it goes in time jumps and it shows like in between moments. Like mm-hmm. it shows how Count Dooku took it when he heard about Qui Gon Jin getting killed. Damn. 
Uh, and then that's... What was his reaction? Not happy. Like, okay. he blamed the council because Qui-Gon Jinn warned the council of Darth Maul and the presence of the Sith. Yep. And nobody wanted to listen to him. Damn. So when he dies, you know, that's crazy. on Tatooine, Count Dooku is a little upset about it. And that's yeah. what turns him to the dark side finally. Like, that, that makes was sense. kind of his breaking point. <clears throat> Excuse me. Damn. That's awesome, dude. Yeah. It's a really good... I mean, it's Clone Wars-style animation. I saw and that when we were talking like I said, about it. It's that only like five nice. or six episodes, twenty minutes a piece, but yeah. really fucking cool. That's dope, bro. I really like the it's the story cool. that it told. And Dooku's one of my favorite Sith, bro. Oh yeah, like for real. Him and Vader are probably top two. I mean, Darth Maul's always cool, but like, I like you know, Darth Maul. You just a lot, don't get enough of him. But yeah, he's, and he's and yeah, he was he's, not he's a this, force user. He was just trained in the art of the lightsaber. Lightsaber wielding, yeah, bro. He was what an was assassin. The, I'm trying to think. Um, <clears throat> let's see here. Sisyphus. That's what Darth Maul's based off of, bro. Syphilis? Syphilis. <laughs> Did you say Sis- Darth Maul is based off of syphilis? That's Sisyphus. Odd. Is, oh, I'm sorry. Is punished in the I underworld by the god <laughs> Zeus, who forces him to roll a boulder up a hill for eternity. Mm. Every time he nears the top of the hill, the boulder rolls yeah, back yeah. down. That's what Darth Maul's based off of. So, like, everything, there was a video I watched that, it like, had accounted, it, or correlated, rather, uh, Star Wars to Greek mythology. So, like, every single story about it, like, the hero story and shit was Greek mythology, man. George Lucas right was, like, real deep into it and shit. Right on. And Sisyphus is Darth Maul. That's why we, that's why he never wins. That's yeah. why we never get to see him a lot. He's he just, he's, you know, he's almost in limbo. Yeah. Like he's just up and down the hill, up and down. He never succeeds. He never really well, like makes big moves. Very disappointed in his ending. Like, speaking really <coughs> speaking of George Lucas, that. though, who do you all think has the most complex mind out of like George Lucas, uh, George R. R. Martin, Tolkien, bro, J.K. J.K. Rowling? J- She's bad, dude. Tolkien, Harry Potter's fucking dope. You know what I'm dope. saying? Like all those like I say you Tolkin, know, bro. West Stephen Rose, King, bro. If we're being Earth. real. I mean, Stephen no, King talking about like the, the different rings. universes, like in, in that regard, we know like firsthand where they made movies. The book, how hard it is just to sit down and come up with character names, names of places. Oh yeah, little that's shit. That's what I'm saying, hard. bro. To right. think of like different languages right. and shit, like these so people do, different planets, different authors, worlds, different galaxies created, and shit. Like you said, so yeah. Galaxies. How do you Lucas, create all this? Like, so how do you create all these different names and all these different families and all these people are related and how are they related? The language is the fucking tough. Language. Like oh, making Navi, dude. like for Avatar, like yeah, making the Navi fucking Avatar, language, man. bro, or all the alien languages yeah. that George Lucas fucking yeah, made yeah. up, yeah. or him and his writers, or yeah. whoever. Yeah. Fucking, That's uh, tough, bro. The old Valerian. High Valerian, yeah, yeah, Dothraki. Bro. Dothraki. Yeah, Dothraki. Um, That's a tough one. You know, it, so many different yeah, languages. That's fucking crazy. That right. they create in the Game of Thrones universes. books, do, when they speak in Dothraki, is it like translated into a sense or like yeah. okay so like you know what's yeah. happening yeah. okay I didn't know I mean, I've, never, I've never read them so I didn't know uh, is it the same with Valerian as well I don't remember you know, really I don't even recall that Valerian other than maybe a I couple mean, times yeah, the, they yeah, might so. now the, the next yeah. thing is is like uh, you know with Tolkien like when they're speaking Elvish I never read Lord of the Rings, bro. Me do I they? Bro, that's, that's it's difficult. It's a tough it's read. It's difficult yeah. to read that. They do. Bro. It's like translates. Yeah, hey, I just ordered. Yeah, it uh, says it in Elvish and then it Song says of it Ice in and Fire. English. Okay. I'm sure oh, that's, that's dope. That's how they that's do dope. it in uh, Doth Rocky and how they do it. it yeah, it's like it's like, like you read that, you try to like dip, like depict it yourself almost, like try to translate it, and then you yeah. have a translator. So. But I saw the thing they were translating where Damon was singing to Vermithor. Yeah. And they they were like saying that it meant. Some real shit, and right. I, I've been reading a lot of theories about it, bro. Like, I, I'm, I'm so excited. I, I'm, I'm sad. I have to wait two years for I know. season Why two. The fuck, is it taking is it, two years? For bro, I, I heard that the John Snow show is gonna Start come on before, before season right. two. So that'd be dope. I'm okay with that. I don't know if that's possible though. Think about it. They'd have to already be work, filming, yeah, they've right? They've been working on it. So I don't is know there if they're filming or not? But, but think how long it takes right. to do those shows, bro. Yeah, all that. Post production shit. They Literally, they the started editing. House of Dragon. I, I remember they they like started talking about House a of Dragon. Over a year ago. No, it was 2020 when I first heard about it, bro. It what? was 2020 when I first heard it's about House of the ago. Dragon. 
Because I remember I, I was in Taylor County, and, and Mom sent me the little clip yeah. on, on the kiosk. <laughs> like, she sent me the article so I could read about it. And, That's like, that, that was the thing, man. I didn't get to watch the final season of Game of Thrones. You know, I waited for it literally. Yeah. Like, I remember us talking about I, it, too, I waited man. for it for over four years, almost five years I waited Damn. to watch that. And I remember when it premiered, Mom – would write me a letter and give me the synopsis of oh, every shit. episode Shout so out. I knew what happened. Shout out, Mama Yeah, Dukes. so thank you so Being much, Mom. So that was solid. awesome. I knew what happened so the final solid. season of Game of Thrones, you yeah. know, three years before I watched it. That's solid. <laughs> like, legit, bro. Believe that. Yeah, it was awesome. So here's something that uh, Saltz and I were talking about is, and we ended up finding out which one is, uh, like, the difference in them, but the difference between vibranium and adamantium. That's what okay. I said. I was like, okay, you got the we strongest were... metal on earth, right? right. They're both Vibranium's referred to not from earth though. Vibranium's a member in Black Panther, they it's a uh, meteor no. that crashed. You're right. You're absolutely right. 100%. And I think adamantium is man-made. Man-made, 100%. So So the difference is uh no, it okay. says no, it I, says vibranium is a rare earth metal but is believed to have extraterrestrial origins. Right. So it's speculated. But but yeah, that, they get it from something it comes hey. from somewhere but it's like a rare earth metal. Yeah. So like but it could have been long long time ago like right. generations yeah. of like caveman shit. Yeah, straight up. And then it says <laughs> the other one is artificially synthesized metal. After the success of using vibranium, Dr. McLean tried to recreate the process John of McLean. bonding <laughs> bonding steel and vibranium but was uh unsuccessful i just brought it up like okay you, you got vibranium you know uh the shield it, you know right. whenever cab gets his shield he they explain it as it's the strongest metal known to man yeah but they say the same thing about <laughs> wolverine's right. claws his like skeleton. you know the adamantium they say that's the strongest metal known to man Straight up. So yeah. I was just wondering Marvel, what, which so one's yeah, stronger. Yeah, yeah, it's in the same be, universe. Yeah, so same it, it, which one would win? And they have to explain it somewhere. It you says know? Uh, while vibranium is the more durable material, adamantium is the more dense material. This means that given the right circumstances, adamantium can potentially cut through pure vibranium. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Because so cap, cap shield does get broken. At yeah, that's point. what I'm saying. I'm sure that it might have been discussed at some point. The only way that Wolverine's claws ever Avengers get broken. For a while. Yeah. In the comics, yeah, yeah. So they probably I'm do explain sure it eventually. That's why I, but that. I've not ever looked into it that yeah. deep, and I've always thought, you know, hundred percent. Which one will win? Hundred percent. Which one's stronger? You and know? my thing is, is, like, Wolverine's just goat, bro. Like, oh, he's absolutely. just, like, dude. And even like, yeah. I was definitely one of the coolest fucking characters. And, and especially the fact that Hugh Jackman played him <laughs> so perfectly, so well. bro. Nobody could have played him better. I, I feel was like so straight like, up. Leery about that. I, Bro, I remember he did in so like good. high school being in art class with a bunch of my nerdy friends, and we would talk about what actors would be good to play yeah. the X Men. And dude, and dude, since like we 93, that door, 94, that door. we've all unanimously, thank you, unanimously, always said Patrick Stewart for Professor X. Yes. Oh, nobody else could have done it as yeah. well as he did. Yeah. Perfect. Most Most definitely. Definitely. It's like Most definitely. The, when X Men came out, it's like they they genuinely just took the '90s cartoon and like. They yeah, made them look like dead ass like them. Like yeah. um, the suits were a little different and stuff like that. But like the like the faces, man. Like Hugh Jackman looks like Wolverine from yeah. the '90s cartoon. You, you, you can't you know replace I mean? him, bro. They no, can't no. get nobody they else to play Wolverine. Trying. They really don't yeah, need to do can. that. That's just and gonna, also. I don't feel like anybody could do it as well. Yeah, wow. the other day, man, uh, a dude came into work and he was wearing a dope ass old school. It had like Colossus and like. Bishop and Cyclops and Beast, oh, wow. like it was like old school yeah, comic, like badass years, shirt. Yeah. And I was talking to him, and like I was telling him, like how you and I, like our favorite characters, were always Gambit and Wolverine, bro. Yeah. Like those were just the, they were just right. gangsters, bro. Yeah, like, absolutely. you know, like I'm so real. Glad they it was didn't always do my that number one movie. Bro. What is it? too, man. Bro, I heard that was like fucking six years yeah. ago. Yeah. I Long time about bro. that, bro. Yeah. And they said Channing Tatum right? was gonna play it, yep. and then I heard that. The producer that they got to do it, he didn't get along with them, so they had to get another one, and then he just kept, like, he right. couldn't get along with any of the people they, they tried to get it. to direct it, I produce really it. I did not like Channing Tatum for Gambit. Like, it might have been dope, bro. I don't know. It, I think it would you been, never know, bro. I think it would have been, like, fucking Nick Cage. You don't Ghost like Rider. Channing Tatum? <laughs> not really, no. Not as Gambit. He, yeah, he's good not at, like, as Gambit. he was great in 21 Jump Street. He's great in G.I. Joe. I, yeah, I liked him in some of the comedies that he's done, and his... Fucking cameos in like this is the fighting. 
Yeah, fighting, fighting was, was good. good with Terrence Howard. He that was, was fire. That movie but was dope. That was fire. Twenty One Jump Street, though, man. Yeah, Twenty One Jump Street was really good. That's yeah. another one, bro. Like we were talking about the other day, like a sequel that's better than the original. Yeah. There's a few of them, but oh, like you, yeah. usually, usually, Longest you yard. need to stop at number one. You Longest need to, you need to sequel. just leave it where it's at. There's you're some, right. You're right. Yeah, that's a reboot. A reboot. It's that's a reboot. A, you're right. You're right. You're I'm right. Saying, but oh yeah, we're talking about sequels. You're right. You do a movie. You do a sequel and it's just yeah, not as good. You should just leave it bad. alone. But, like we were talking about like, Planet of the Apes, bro. Bad Boys Planet of the Apes. fucking Apes. Ba- yeah. Bad Boys 2 um, was much better than the first one. Fucking two Mighty towers. Ducks. Two Towers, bro. 100%. Mighty Ducks 2. I Attack of the, yeah. the first one. Attack of the Clones. Way better yeah. than Phantom Menace. Um, yeah. And then Revenge of the yeah, Sith. Better I'm than both. Old school Godfather 2. Bro, yes. That's the ghost. So better than the first one. And I love Marlon Brando in the first one. Empire Strikes Back, bro. Empire Strikes Back was way better than A New Hope, bro. Like, yeah. and then Return of the Jedi is obviously, you know, it's goat, but yeah, bro, Empire Empire was way better There's than A New Hope in my opinion. It's of the Jedi. <laughs> but then you got some of them where, like, Friday, all three yeah. of those are good. Fire, yeah. Honestly, bro. I still like the first one. The, the fir- best, yes, man. the first one's OG. It's the it's, best it's for the sure. But when they brought Mike Epps in, yeah. Literally, you know what we forgot, the boys? The Dark Knight is a sequel. Batman oh, Begins shit. was yeah. the fucking yeah, first one. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Bro. Dark Knight, that's another one. That one's cold. There's, there's quite a few, man. We're not thinking of some. But there's, I, I'm looking them up. I, I got I to pull, pull it up right here. <laughs> I'm just saying, we, we mentioned a couple more oh, the other day. Aliens. Aliens, bro. What is it? No. You can't really count well, that. Well, yeah, because they're all good. Yeah, that, but that's a book. Yeah, that's true. I feel like that's, that's different. That's true. That's true. Yeah, more so on movies and shit. Uh, like I'm just saying, like, yeah, like trilogies and shit. Like oh, the movies. Winter Soldier. The Wolverine, bro. Yeah. The Wolverine. X Men Origins sucked. Oh yeah. That real was shit. Bad. That was fucking. That was yeah, real so bad. Yeah, Winter Soldier was way better than the fucking first one, bro. For real. Winter Soldier is probably still my favorite. Uh, not counting Endgame because again, that's a masterpiece. Yeah, it truly. Winter is. Soldier is probably still my favorite. <laughs> but as far as Captain America, First Avenger, Winter Soldier. Civil War. Civil War, yeah. Civil War was like Civil Avengers War is probably, I'm probably going to take 2.5. Winter Soldier. I'm taking Civil War over Winter Soldier. I, I like I like Civil fanboy. War, but I'm the I'm a hu- Emmy, you yeah, me? but I'm a huge uh, I'm a huge Winter Soldier fan, bro. Yeah, the same, like straight up. You already know. I just like that movie the best because it's like it's almost like a spy movie that just has some superheroes in it. You know, bro. You yeah, know what else? A lot of espionage going on. I like that. What's his, uh, Sam Raimi? Was he the one that did Spider Man? Oh, Spider Man Two. Yeah, yeah. Spider Man Two, bro. Sam, yeah. Sam Raimi's gonna be at Lexington Comic Con. We're about to meet this oh, motherfucker, shit. dude. Hell yeah. He's, we're, we're gonna be there, Fucking motherfucker. He's there, dude. Teenage, teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Straight up. The Secret the of the Ooze. Was, the third one was Secret garbage. Of the, third third one was the first two cool. were dope. See, yeah, I, I would one was say, fire, I, I almost say I like Secret of the Ooze <laughs> better than the first one, but I can't say that because Casey Jones, bro. Straight up. Bro. Casey bro. Jones, man. Straight up. He made the first one. If they would have put Casey Jones in number two, I mean, that's real shit. Casey Jones is goat. Yeah. But you but have vanilla that, ice. That's, that's you know the what reason. Right. That's true, man. <laughs> the ninja rap, you know, that, that turns it all the way up. Straight up, up son. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to think. Oh, bro, X2. X-Men United. Yeah, yeah that was pretty good. It was garbage. Part. Yeah, it wasn't great. It was good with the, your, if, when no. you were a kid. Bro, you no, know, for a kid. It's good. It came out when I was a, I was a lot younger than y'all. You know what I'm Grow saying? up, sir. <laughs> That's all I got to say. Grow Tighten up. Tighten your fucking shit Get up, your life together already. I'm sick of you. Let's see here. Mission Impossible, the second one was fire. Yeah, Dude, but this, honestly, all and then that goes that goes into good. those That's movies true. that they just made like too Fast many, bro. Yeah, Fast and no, no, Furious. No, I fucking, but I the second like one was those, probably my favorite. The second one was as much as I or the Fast Two Furious, Furious was. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. What That's is it? another one. The I second one's the Mission best. Impossible. As much as I dislike Fire, Tom Cruise, he makes no, those good are good movies. movies. Good but movies. They just That's what I'm they overdid it, bro. They they oh, should have yeah. stopped. Like you know, how many of them is, is there? Is Sixteen of them. He's doing his own stunts. He's, it's like Fast yeah. and Furious. They do some off the wall crazy shit that you know is not gonna happen in real life. And the last one, they sent a fucking car into outer space. Yeah, literally. they did too much. You can't do that shit in real life. No, Mission Impossible. It's kind of legit. Tom Cruise is really doing that shit. Yeah. Really Tom Cruise is really only like 5'6", ain't he? Oh, he's <laughs> real yeah. short. Yeah. He's Same thing, Vin he's Diesel, bro. Guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah. real Diesel short, too. Little? Yeah, he's real short. Like, I'll they make... Up. Yeah, I'll I I'll swear, bro. Tom Cruise and Vin Diesel, I feel like I they're both no under... I feel like fella. they're 5'9", or less. That's why he was terrible to play Jack Reacher. Yeah, that's why I couldn't do it, bro. The show was fire. I read the books, and then I got out, and I watched the movies. The show was real good. You need to watch the show, The show was good. They got a good... The the yeah. person that 
portrayed yeah. him in the show was built right. like him. Right. Yeah. It, yeah. it was he the way they like described Jack him Jack in the book. Vin Diesel. Yeah, yeah. Um, see, but old right. Tom Cruise, man. Yeah, the Jack Reacher really books were awesome, old, though, man. Really? Like, does I read, I read like, probably like seven out of the first ten. Damn. That's what's up. Just like, you know, I, I read, read like the first anything. four, and then I skipped around for a few. It says that Vin Diesel's 5'11". Okay, but that's still short compared to... The rock. They make yeah. him look like shit like you know that. Yeah. They make I mean, him look like a big suit. I'm rock. taller you, than Vin Diesel. Yeah. <laughs> I'm taller than Vin Diesel, if that tells you anything. You know, when he, when he what about like, Tom Cruise? He's short, bro. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm pretty like five, sure. Seven. Yeah, he's real short. I know for a fact Tom Cruise is real short, bro. 5'7. Yes, yeah, so that's what call. I'm saying. Good call. I knew he was real short. Let's see who else is in the fucking. I'm trying to think. There was somebody else that looks real fucking tall. Uh, Eddie Murphy. I, I know Antonio he's Banderas real short. He's only like 5'3". Who? Uh, Antonio Banderas? Yeah, yeah I think he's only 5'3 or something. 5'5", five, five maybe. Yeah. Let's see here. Al Pacino's only 5'6". Damn. Boy, he's a little fella. Billy Joel's 5'5". Five, five. Wow. That's crazy. Yeah. He's pretty short, dude. That's for real, like... 5'5"? Five, five? Good lord. Um, let's see. Yeah, I can't believe Pacino's fucking 5'6". That means I'm That's nine crazy. inches taller than him. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Um, I can't believe Billy Joel's 5'5". Five five. That's fucking insane. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, bro. Jeez. I would tower over him. <laughs> believe that, bro. <laughs> believe that. So if you had to pack up right now and go to any country I can't. you're choosing. <laughs> fuck! Sorry. Oh, I know. I just distorted. I got to fucking edit that. I just yelled. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let me turn my fucking mic no, down. No, I got I'm a good screaming. one, though, man. What do you all think is the most difficult sport to play oh, sure. physically for for a human to play? What is the hardest yeah. sport for a human to, you know, learn how to play and do well? Lacrosse. Mm. I feel like that's a tough one. I don't know. I was thinking, girls. like, maybe rugby. You know, I mean, it's very similar. Physical condition. You yeah. want to know one I think would be the hardest – is polo because yeah, of the fact that you're playing a, a sport one. plus you're having to control a horse. Yeah, you're having to ride shit. a horse while you play a sport. Hockey. Hockey's, Hockey's hard. tough, yeah. bro. I already know. I play, I play roller shit. hockey. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but it'd be, it'd be either hockey. It'd be tough. Or I, I feel like polo, man, honestly. Because you're, you're, you're riding you. horseback while you're playing a sport. Right, we go that real quick, bro. Thank you. But yeah, I feel like polo and hockey. I feel I mean, like lacrosse would be hard as fuck too, though, bro. A lot of people say golf, but if you think about it, you don't have to be in good physical condition yeah. to play golf. <laughs> John Daly. It is, it is a, exactly. You know it's I mean? a very difficult sport to play, right. but you you got eighty yeah, year old easy. men that go out and play golf. It. I mean, my papa, he shot a seventy two when he was seventy five years old. Wow. He shot less than his age. That's fucked. Just because he played every day, you know, because yeah. old men, they're retired. They play golf yeah. every day in their spare time, and they get good at it. But they can't go and play hockey or right, lacrosse. Right. You know what I'm saying? You can't play. The ring and yeah. Boxing. Like, you, you don't see people in their 50s or up no. playing most sports. No. If you think about it. Football, oh, no. no. Hockey, Hell no. 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 Rugby, no. None of that Sorry. shit, bro. Yeah. No, like, yeah. Baseball. Serious. Baseball's Sorry. probably the one you can play the longest. Well, you, yeah. Mm. Aside from golf. 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 But I'm saying, sure. like, baseball, though, I mean, fuck. You, you, you got, yeah, you, you got slow pitch long. softball leagues yeah. for old men and fuck, shit. Fuck, obviously, I mean, even MLB. Is fucking hard. Yeah, tennis but is you, but, long, yeah, shit. It is, but you, you can play, like, like you, you can play it, like, recreationally instead of competitively. Right. Because you do, you got old ladies going and playing too. 100%. That's you know very I mean? true. That's so, very so true. So they That's play, you know, kind of more recreationally right, right. Yeah. than actually like competitively like they do on TV and shit. For real. That's true. Yeah, golf is definitely hands down the oldest. Like, I mean, it's, a, it's the same way with golf, bro, because golf. you're riding in a cart. Straight up. You don't do that when you competitively play no. golf. You're walking. Oh, That's yeah. for real. You know yeah, what I mean? So it's the same way. You're playing for recreation. You're not playing competitively. <laughs> it's very true. Like, you, you are competing golf, at it. You're trying to. Driving that little cart around. <laughs> drinking, yeah. all day. drinking all day. Yeah. That's boy. the way to do it, man. Get you get you a 12-pack or a little pint and go <laughs> out to the golf <laughs> <Yep>. course. <laughs> yeah, John Daly's 56, and he's still golfing like a muff. Bro, I told you the story that my granddad told me about John Daly, didn't mm-hmm. I? Wow. Okay, he, he was down there with my great uncle in South Carolina where he lived at, and John Daly was at this golf course they were playing at. Yeah. And he walked up to the tee with a cigarette and a beer in his hand. And a Diet Coke. 
and <laughs> he drinks all the diet. He set goes. his beer can beer can down on the tee. He put his golf ball on the beer can, put the cigarette in his mouth. He hit the ball off the beer can, yeah. picked it up, took a drink, and walked to the car and went, yeah. Wow. John Daly was a gangster. <coughs> For real, man. Still is, bro. I mean, Dude, they it, named a drink after him, bro. Believe that, and Arnold bro. Palmer with vodka <laughs> in it is Straight called up, a John Daly. That's a John Daly, you know? bro. Like, that's how a gangster he really is. Yeah. And honestly, he's like... Fat as hell. Bro, he's 215, 5'11". He's 56 years old, bro. Yeah, he's like the Babe Ruth of golf. Straight up, bro. Swear, he's bro. like that dude who's just a freak of nature, but not in the sense of like LeBron. He's like a freak of nature. Like, he'll pound on fucking <laughs> beers and then come through and beat your ass at golf. I swear. Be hung over as a motherfucker eating candy bars and shit, bro. Yeah. Like... Smoking 20 cigarettes, you know, like yeah. drinking Diet Cokes all fucking day, eating cheeseburgers and shit. Like, just has no, no fucks are given from this fella, and he's still smashing on motherfuckers, dude. Yeah. It just it shows, was, man. Like, you don't have to be in good shape to play golf. No. <laughs> you really don't. You're good, bro. But in and the other thing, sport, you gotta be, you gotta be in peak physical condition 100%. to really compete. Like I said, baseball is the only one that I can think of that you could play professionally to an to one of the oldest ages. You know what I mean? No. It's like golf than baseball. No. What do you mean? What would be? What, what could you play longer than baseball besides golf? Um, a kicker in the NFL. Uh, <laughs> you got me there, guy. Yeah, because you got like forty-six-year-old guys <laughs> kicking in you the NFL me. for you real. You got me. You got me. I All swear. Right. Okay. Aside from that very I mean, shit, specific Tom Brady, thing, bro. He's what forty-three. Yeah. You don't have a lot of baseball players that old, cuz, for Dude. real. Nolan I mean, may, maybe a like relief pitcher. Yeah, the, Who? I'm saying, Nolan Ryan. Yeah, He's but 50? nowadays. I, wanna, I don't know. I'm saying he was He was, he, he was in his 40s. He was in his 40s. I'll he give you that. that. Maybe he, late he 40s, wasn't no I feel 50, like. Bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? No, he no. wasn't no 50. I'll put money on it. He wasn't he was 50. throwing heat. Yeah, bro. He was throwing 100 miles an hour when he was 40 years old. Easy. Literally. Nolan Ryan was the GOAT, bro. He was 46. 46. 46. Yeah. He was up there. Well, that's right. But you got to think, Tom Brady's 43, and he's playing quarterback in the NFL. That's That's a big difference than pitching. You know what I'm saying? That's true. If you ever watch it, though, he don't get hit. Yeah, the refs protect that motherfucker, bro. He he never gets hit. Bro, it's terrible. I hate it, man. You watch it. I swear, I saw a clip the other day. Like, you'll get fined, motherfucker. They showed him, like, he was, like, pointing his fingers up, and then the shot clock went up. Like, he, he was, like, talking to the refs and, and doing this. And then they, they like, <laughs> put the play clock up yeah. and gave him more time to snap the ball. Damn. <laughs> yeah, bro. That's fucking crazy. And then they, they call it, like, they made that a few weeks ago, bro. They made that roughing the passer call, and it literally changed the game. Yeah. And it was not, bro. It was just a regular sack. Like, the guy grabbed him and then Damn. rolled him to the ground for a tackle. And they called it roughing the passer. Yeah. And yeah. then Tom Brady went down and <coughs> scored, and they won the game. The oldest person yeah. ever to play in the MLB was Satchel Paige, who at the age of 59 made one wow. token major league appearance 12 years after his major league uh, but career. But Satchel Paige, ended. he was in the Negro that's Leagues, crazy. bro. Yeah, like that's he, real talk. That's what that's I'm saying. Like he, That's back in the, what, 30s, yeah. 40s? Way back. Well, he was uh, – Maybe 50s. Here. This was – That's back in the day, bro. Satchel Paige. Our full host was 42. Let's see here. Satchel Page is, is, yeah, that's 100%. Very different. Very different time. Different you know time, I mean? bro. Like, very different. Yeah, but he didn't nah. play. Like, he started old and shit, but I'm not. No, Babe Ruth didn't, didn't make it that long, nah. bro, because his he health died, was so bad. Bro. Yeah, I'm going to forget, like, a pound of bacon a day he, and smoke cigars. He couldn't make it around the bases, bro. He make it around the bases, bro. Okay, he was born in 1906, so yeah, Satchel bro. Page, he was that's probably, what I'm yeah, saying, bro. He was probably playing, like, the 20s and 30s, bro. That's real shit. That's a very different time period of professional sports. Way different, bro. You know what I mean? And it's back to... But even Albert Pujols was pretty fucking recent. 42 is pretty damn old, bro. Yeah. Like, to play in fucking professional, like, Yeah, sport, but he's at the end of the that's line, true. bro. That's true. You're right. Like he's he, not Tom Brady. He was just trying... He but Tom Brady's a fucking to, different motherfucker, dude. He was like, just trying to get to 700, bro. Pujols got to 700. That's true. Now he's, he's content to retire now, I feel like, man. Yeah. That's real shit, dude. Like, it's crazy, oh, bro, because I right. remember Pujols... Whenever I was playing Little League Baseball, you played bro. for the Cardinals? Uh, no, yeah, whenever Pujols yeah, St. Like, Louis. came into the league. Yeah. Like, I remember playing. I remember, like, playing MLB I remember the show. He, he was on the cover my, of MVP Baseball 2004. <coughs> Albert Pujols was on the cover, and I yeah. had that game. That's when I was still playing video games back yeah, in the day, bro. It's been, the show. it's been that long I was still playing video games. Damn. Yeah. That's fucking crazy. That tells bro. you right there. That's yeah, but. Crazy, uh, no, I, I remember playing with him on uh, 
baseball video games back whenever I was playing Little League baseball, bro, in yeah. grade school. It's crazy. Like, and he's still hitting home runs, bro. Smash. It's like I saw that thing the other day. It was, it was like the, this day in history. It was like 20 years ago. Albert Pujols hit a home run. Uh, Dante Bichette got a hit, and Vladimir Guerrero Sr. got a home run. <laughs> and then on this day, 20 years later, Albert Pujols got a home run. Dante yeah. Bichette's son got a hit, yeah. and Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Yeah. got a home run. Dude, you so remember? Uh, yeah, like 20 years later, it, it was kind of cool, man, I, if I you watched, think about it. I watched a clip uh, the other day from King Griffey Jr. and King Griffey, oh, uh, King Griffey Sr. Whenever, whenever he, he grounded, stole the, he, he, he stole it, bro. He <laughs> called it. They had the fly he said, you grounded. Yeah. He's like, you grounded, <laughs> motherfucker. Like, yeah. He's a grown-ass man like, out here in the league, bro. there, like, he's ready to catch it. And then Jr. just runs over and hits it out from in front of him. Yeah. Straight up, bro. Yeah, it's fucking hilarious, about. man. Gr- hey, Junior, that, that was one of my Fire. favorite baseball Fire. players Fire. growing up, bro. That's Fire. like that's who I idolized, man. Junior was the shit. Especially whenever he came to the Reds. Yeah. I was Fire. like, oh. He went to the Mariners first, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah he was yeah. drafted and by the went, Mariners. And then went to the Reds. Yeah. And then played for... No. Dude, I've got some he retired to the Reds? Reds? Yeah. I thought yeah, he played bro, for three teams. Listen, one of his rookie cards is one of the most like <laughs> sought after like cards. Tops, like, it, yeah, uh, yeah, it's like it's like a Fleer '88 or is it a Fleer? yeah, I think it's a Fleer '88, Fleer '89. Yeah, I got, I was he played for the White Sox. Cards. He did play for three okay. teams. Really? He, okay. That's who he finished with. Okay. I knew he played for he didn't one play other team. Long, did he? No, it was his, it was last year. Yeah, I didn't know he played for the White Sox. Though. I knew he played for. I remember uh, seeing a fucking jersey of not yeah. Reds or Mariners. You know what I mean? And it was White Sox. His last year that he played before he retired. Well, that's uh, just like I don't. Fire, I don't remember yeah, Iverson yeah, playing for the Grizzlies. Really, I remember him playing for Denver. I remember him playing for Denver and, and Detroit. Obviously, the Sixers and Detroit. Well, yeah, Sixers. Uh, that's course. a given. But I'm saying, like, he ended up going to Memphis at one point. Bro. I don't even remember that. And I was at all. like, yeah, I don't remember that at all, bro. Because he was just like that. That was the thing with Iverson, bro. And I say it all the time. He is pound for pound the best athlete ever. Yeah, Allen Iverson. Yes, pound for pound. You got to think, man. He's five eleven at most. You know, they, they measured him at six foot, but that's at the top of his cornrows. You know yeah. what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. He was about 5'11", bro, maybe 130 pounds. But he won the state championship in football his junior and senior year. Straight up. Won Mr. Football his junior and senior year. Won Mr. Basketball his junior year. In the state but, championship, but then his senior year, he got in all that trouble. You know what I mean? Yeah, he went to jail. Yeah. He got in that he was fight OG at the real. bowling alley or bro. whatever, allegedly. What, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, straight up. <laughs> what was, uh, what, we were talking about the other day, man, when somebody was saying that they told him he should stop going to the club and partying and shit, and then he did, and he fucking hit like 15 points or something. Then he went and went to the club, <laughs> dropped 50 on That's fucking like the Lakers or something, bro. Like, he was yeah. turning up a bitches and like in the club just turning up and he go to practice the next day and it's all good. You know what I'm saying? I, I like, read a book about him, bro. We, we, like he was, was a, a clip serious or something. alcoholic, I can't bro. Like motherfucker was drinking for real. And, but he would come in and drop fifty on him, hung Believe over. Believe that, yeah. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Like Clubbing he, he'll, all night. He'll, come, he'll come in hung over, bro. After like he'll still smell like alcohol and yeah. come and drop fifty points on you. Real shit, wow. bro. But like, here's the thing with the the most athletic pound for pound, we we can't throw one. We have to do three, and it's obviously Neon Dion, Bo Jackson. And yeah, AI. Dion's up there. Jackson. Oh, but Jackson, Bo Jackson bro. was a Jackson beast, bro. Beast. You're, going pound for you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You we gotta, gotta give AI probably no, the top. D- hey, prime time's up there, dude. Prime time. You gotta think baby. anybody that could play two sports yeah. competitively. What, what, was the, uh, what, what was that fucking thirty for thirty on him? Double header or some shit like yeah, that, or yeah, yeah, double, something like that. D- double uh, down or some shit. Yeah. Double play, maybe. Oh no. But that, Bo Jackson, Deion Sanders, yeah. where he played football yeah. and he played, right, right. Uh, yeah. Yeah. In the same day, bro. Yeah, the same in the day. same fucking day, bro. I think he's yeah, the only one to play in a Super Bowl and a World Series. Straight both. up, yeah. He's Straight the only up. person Sanders, to ever bro. play in both. <clears throat> That's real shit. I believe it, dude. He was cold with the Cowboys. Oh, bro, yeah. I still have my Deion Dallas? Sanders Cowboys the Falcons? jersey. The Falcons. He was, he was really cold dope too. With the you said you, you still you still have the jersey. Yeah, I still That's got my Deion dope. Sanders Cowboys jersey, number twenty one. And 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 he he made a rap song too. So let's not forget about that, bro. He he dropped a rap song. So did AI though. Yeah. But AI, 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 like, and then that goes into all these athletes that had such, like, promising careers but then ended up getting in legal trouble. Yep. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Like, AI. And Pac-Man then, Jones. Randy Moss. Maurice he, Claret. He had that yeah, trouble Randy when Moss. he was younger. Yeah. Mike Randy Moss. Vick. Mike Vick. Yeah. Mike yeah. Vick especially, bro. Yeah, he's the, probably and, the but, biggest like one. They, and they publicize all oh, that Michael shit. Michael Irvin. But, Michael Irvin, too? Yeah, yeah. yeah. All the dudes on Dallas, bro. And a lot of dudes from Miami. Yeah, Miami. A lot of dudes that went to Miami. 
for yeah, sure. Yeah, Dallas, bro. bro. Whenever they was having the Fucking hoedowns, nineties you know was happening. Straight up, bro. Nineties was crazy. You know what I'm saying? For real. Yeah, was crazy. Then you had fucking Ray Lewis. Ray Lewis. That motherfucker. Ray Rice got, got out of a fucking murder charge. Straight up. Maybe he was at a was, was he at a club that, or something uh, like Hernandez, that? The one that did it. Oh yeah, yeah. He did killed do it himself. Fucking straight up. Yeah, that's what yeah. they they were showing a thing uh, the other day, bro. It was like about the Florida Gators team that they won the national championship. They need to make a fucking. They need to make. They a, need to make uh, it like thirty for thirty about that because you got Aaron Hernandez, Tim and then you, you got well, no, you got like Aaron Hernandez, <laughs> and then four other felons. And Straight then up. both of the coaches were corrupt. You got yeah. Urban Meyer, and then this other dude That's got in all real. this trouble. But then you got Tim Tebow, the, <laughs> just the same. you know the the just Jesus the, the Jesus freak the, that God. was the quarterback leading Loved the whole God. team, Straight leading up. all these criminals. Straight <laughs> up criminals, bro. I guess that's what it was. Hey, hey, bro. He really was. He was like Jesus, hanging out with the hookers and the drug dealers. You yeah, know what I mean? Guess. Like for real. That's it. He felt right. he was he was the prophet. You know what I mean? Bro, there, no, there was a thing I saw. Speaking of Tim Tebow, he does this thing every year where he does an auction for his Heisman Trophy. He lets somebody. Buy his, rent his Heisman Trophy oh, yeah. for a year. What? That's fucking crazy. You bro. get it for a year. Um, I think it was Blake Shelton has it right now. Oh, really? Or somebody like Damn. that. It's like a country singer. Yeah. I think it was Blake Shelton. That's fucking But yeah, crazy, so and he's raised like millions of dollars for this charity oh, shit, by bro. renting out his Heisman Trophy every right. year. I don't know what he, yeah, I mean, that's I'm, admirable. Right, hundred percent. That's very noble, bro. That's like, a real like, noble shit. Really pay for his fucking yacht. Yeah. yeah. You know, I mean, he, 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 yeah, exactly. He's doing good. And he went to play baseball, bro. He played minor league baseball. Literally six hours ago on Twitter, he said, never underestimate what you can do by your own power and never underestimate what God can do when you offer what you have and who you are fully to him. Amen, so my man's brother. still out here. Amen. Hey, Tim praise Tebow. the Lord. You feel me? Like, yeah. my man is still out here just loving God and just crushing it. Crushing it, bro. Yeah. 100%. And, and Tim Tebow makes me think, of all these amazing college quarterbacks that don't do shit in the NFL, He did, bro. though. You have he so, think of how many Heisman Trophy winners do Vince not Young, have any kind of NFL Quinn. career. Uh, let's see here, fucking bro. If you look up the list Marshall of Heisman Vick. Trophy winners right now, um, you, you're you're gonna look up ha, over yeah. half of them didn't do shit in the NFL. Okay. I promise you, bro. Yeah. And if you just go in the last 25 years, for real, because if you go way back, you're, you know it's gonna it's gonna get out of date, but. If you look up Heisman Trophy, because I remember, you know what I know, because the fucking almanac that I had at Taylor County, bro, <laughs> you all don't know how many random <coughs> facts I learned reading this almanac. <laughs> I mean, and, and you know me, I go to the sports section, of course. That's, That's where I go first. Yeah, for but, sure. Uh, something to pass the time, right? Yeah, bro. <laughs> you, you don't know how much, like, I, I learned so much about the world. Ryan it, Leaf. Yeah, did Matt Leinart. Matt, Matt Leinart did all right. Jamarcus Russell. Didn't do shit. Jack Thompson. Who's that? I don't even, you know what I'm saying? Don't even it, know. Exactly. Andre Ware. Yeah, who's don't that? Exactly. That. Joe Harrington. Exactly. You literally don't know anything about who, these guys. Yeah. Who, who are they? David Carr. He did all right. I'm not even. Michael Vick. He, I mean, yeah, he did course. great. You know what I mean? But made poor decisions. Yeah, uh, a little bit. Chris a, Winky. He was terrible. Eric Couch. Yeah. He, who was he? You yeah, know what I'm saying? Like, none was, of them, yeah. bro. Like, you got all these, yeah. like, number one draft picks that don't do shit. Straight bro. up. They're getting paid all these millions of dollars millions, to man. bust. Millions. You know what I'm saying? Tim Tebow's one of them who didn't do terribly great in the he NFL. He didn't do much, He though. did okay. You but know to win mean? the national championship yeah. and win a Heisman Trophy. Real shit. You should have crushed. Yeah. You should have been the next You got MJ. that ability. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But like, it, it just shows it doesn't translate, bro. Nah. It really is a whole different game, bro. Yeah. You're playing with grown-ass fucking men. It's the same thing <laughs> like, in college basketball, bro. Yeah, that's real. Yeah. It's even, there, it, it's even more rare for a player to get from college to the NBA. Yeah, it's real shit. You know. Yeah. So let me ask you boys this: If you had to pick your top three favorite soundtracks of all time, I want you to lay that on uh, me. Um, Tarzan's number one. Oh yes, <laughs> for sure. One hundred percent. Probably Hustle and Flow. Hustle and Flow is oh, cold man, is and cold, bro. I mean, <sighs> I'm trying to think here. If if I just had to go with a quick one, bro, we've already talked about it. Get rich or die trying. Fire, bro. That soundtrack was just. That's what album, I would do, bro. bro. Yeah. Tarzan, nice, like... Phil Collins. That's the greatest. <laughs> I don't care what anybody says. Tarzan has the greatest movie soundtrack of all time. Yeah, genuinely, and bro. My my top three would be Tarzan, Hustle and Flow, Get Rich or Die Trying. I'm gonna oh, say man. Almost Famous, 
Oh shit. I'm gonna say man. get rich or die trying. Whew, it's fucking tough. And I wanna say Hercules, bro, the Disney cartoon. There were some <laughs> fire ass just, songs on there, quick, bro. bro. I also think like Days and Confused. Bro. Oh, that's I think the one. that sounds yeah. that's, that's, that's number one. I, I should have put one. that one on there, bro. I, I changed one. my whole shit. Um, that's number one. Yeah. That's Days number one, bro. Days and Confused, bro, because it's just Period. all the classics, man. Classics, yeah. bro. Oh, fuck like, like that's yeah, the music that I would sit and listen with. I, I, I would listen to that with mom and dad, bro. Real talk, Forrest bro. Gump. Forrest Gump was fire, no. too, bro. Yeah, that, one that was, was good. good. It's a long ass movie, too. There's a lot in it. <laughs> bro, Fast Times has a great <laughs> movie soundtrack. Bro. <laughs> Fast Times and Rich Mahat. Yep. <clears throat> that's real shit. Um, shit. I mean, it, it's hard to do a top three. That's why I said I just did a quick it's one tough. and I forgot. Days and Confused. Is I forgot Days. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's like, a great one. it's probably the best one, dude. One that's a uh, hitter for real. Is little Little Nicky, bro. Hey, that's a Nicky. hitter and Big Daddy. Yeah. Lost Highway. I never. I never Adam it's a, Adam it's Sandler keeps weird good fucking soundtracks. movie that came out in '98, '99. Yeah. But the soundtrack to it was like. Okay, had a bunch of nine right. inch nails. Yeah, yeah. Fucking Marilyn Manson. We shit outside. <laughs> <laughs> you said Marilyn shit Manson. Up. Yeah, yeah, the shit, soundtrack shit to can. Lost Highway was really good, but it was like, you know, it's not, it's a different kind of genre than what we're, sure. you know. Uh, dude, you know, loose. bro, an- The Crow. Oh, dude. The I can't believe I didn't even crow, think of that. The Crow, dude. I'm the Crow was myself. fire, that was bro. A good I don't even like The Cure, but that song yeah. that was on there, dude, Burn. STP. Dude, yes. 100%. Stone Temple Pilots, man. I've been on a big Stone Temple Pilots kick here. Like, uh, you have, bro. And the last couple few them. times we've kicked it, you yeah. always put them on, bro. Yeah. Which is is no fucking stranger to me because I love them too, bro. Yeah. They're fucking awesome for real. But I'd have to say, I mean, we got to throw the Lion King out there, bro. Elton John. Yeah, that was a good one. Crushed I mean, it. What's with y'all in the Disney flicks Bro, because they're some of the best soundtracks of all time, bro. Genuinely. Another one that I'd probably... I like, probably, like, maybe one song off of each movie. Make, like, a compilation yeah. of yeah. Disney. Yeah. Like, yeah. That's fine. Like, that you gotta have a couple it. Aladdin in there. You gotta have some maybe fucking be our guest. Moana, bro. Yeah, Gee. Beauty and the Beast. Yeah. yeah, dude, that's fire. <laughs> yeah, you know what's so crazy is like, even Treasure Planet had a badass dude, soundtrack. That was a good fucking with movie. fucking what's his name from Goo Goo Dolls. Oh yeah, fucks his name John something. Uh, uh, Something, Matt, something. Raznick or something. Something, like that. yeah, yeah. But dude, that fucking yeah. soundtrack was aces across the I always board. Always that's a Disney movie, too. Yeah. That was a good fucking movie. Is it, though? Are we both wrong and it's not a Disney movie? Don't tell me that. It yes, is. It is. Walt Disney. Disney. Yeah. Let's see here. Son what of a bitch. It? I didn't know Joseph Gordon Levitt did the voice. Jim Hawkins, bro. I didn't Martin know that was Short's him. Ben. Dude, let's go. Let's see here. Uh, did we you have? know Joseph Gordon Levitt did the voice of Jim Hawkins in Treasure Planet? Joseph Gordon Levitt. Really? Yeah. Okay. So I mean, it's fire, been about 25 right. years <laughs> since I watched <laughs> it. <laughs> it's been a couple few years, but yeah, I remember that movie. I totally As a kid. it was even a Disney movie until he mentioned it. Oh, yeah. And he looked it For up. For sure. That's one that they need to do a live action movie of. <laughs> I mean, Quit doing these <laughs> dumb <laughs> remakes of these Atlantis old Disney movies. And do Treasure some Planet. shit like that. Atlantis, do some so shit like, like that. that. Atlantis didn't have any songs. How dope would that be? It was like straight through. The Road yeah. to El Dorado or something? Yeah, like, the Road to El like, Dorado the, was nice. You know what I'm bro. saying? Like, do do a live action movie like that, yeah. Disney. If you're That's listening, straight, uh, will you yeah, please? Goddamn. And we know you're Treasure listening. Planet? Tighten up. Can we, we get we, that? We know you're listening. We don't need another fucking Maleficent or no. Cinderella. No, no we we good. don't want. I wanna, no, yeah, I want to see a live action. Uh, no Treasure more Beauty Planet. and the Beast. Straight I mean, we up. love you, Emma Watson, but we'd rather have Treasure Planet. No more Dumbo. No more Jungle Book. We get no. like twenty. Jungle Book's Smith done. I love Fucking Jungle Book, bro. No, Aladdin. I mean, I the Lion King Smith when it was all right, but bro, Aladdin was good. Aladdin was I, okay. I, I Give it another watch it. shot. Bro. I couldn't watch it. Give no. it another shot. It was good. You, you can't watch redo it. that, bro. Robin Man, Williams Robin is dead. Williams. He's Williams. the genie That's true. forever. That's true. He's the genie forever. You can't redo that. Sorry. Real shit. Robin Williams. There shouldn't be an Aladdin. Yeah. What is that? Treasure Planet. Yeah, we said that. Yeah, Atlanta. Yeah. um... It, uh, well, Atlantis though didn't have any music though, bro. I don't feel no. like it didn't have any songs from, uh, that I remember at least. Oh, Michael J. Fox. Yes, bro. I didn't know it till the other day. Yeah. He told me he was my love, but it James makes perfect Garner. sense. Fucking Stuart Little, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like it, it makes perfect sense. Oh, we forgot fucking Dirty Dancing, bro. That was a great soundtrack, bro. Yeah, but 
not better than Days and Confused. No. Yeah, you're Sorry. right. You're right. <laughs> Top Gun. I don't think you can top Top Gun was fire. Days and Confused, yeah. bro. Yeah, that one good Kenny Loggins song on there. Yeah, you're that was right. About, that was about all that made that. You're right. You're right. Soundtrack worth a shit. Lost Highways on there. See, I told you that's a ninety-seven. <coughs> if you, if you can show me a better soundtrack than Days and Confused, I will shake your hand. You can't. There's not one. Oh, we forgot. Oh, brother, where art? Where art? That now? one is good, but yeah, <coughs> that one is dope. I'm not gonna lie. Real but good, I don't bro. know if I put it above Days and Confused. I wouldn't. No. Across the universe, all Beatles songs. Mm. That's fucking fire. Yeah, but I still don't think I put that over Days. Nah, bro, you're not gonna you're not gonna do it, bro. Give up. I'm sick of you, bro. Mary Poppins, motherfucker. I'm Mary, I'm Mary Poppins. Poppins. <laughs> motherfucker. The sound of music. Good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the greatest showman, motherfucker. What's up? Grease, motherfucker. Yeah. Rent. High school musical. <laughs> Fuck you, Yeah. Yeah. Fuck Wicked. You. Wicked. <laughs> yeah. Fuck Bring you out the mean. musicals. Fuck it. Motherfucker. God. I mean, I'm I'm right. Right. Yeah, believe that. Jan saw Love Strike Back. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Come on, now. Bro, so if y'all can travel one place... Only one place before you die. Where's one place that you would like to see before you die? You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, I gotta go to Ireland because I've been to Ireland. a lot of other places. I've got to see a lot of cool. Right, shit you have life. seen a lot like, of the world. I've got to travel. My guy over here, though, I'm I'm so interested one to see. Place that I want to go. He's seen a lot more of the world than us. Oh, way Ireland more. would be dope. I haven't even. I, yeah. I, don't I don't think my dad's never, been to Ireland. Yeah. My dad's yeah. been all over. You already know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's Ireland. He's been everywhere. Yeah, that would be dope. I'll probably say. I can't just pick one, bro. That's what I'm saying. But if I had a top, just a general like area, bro. Even if you just say South America, or Europe, or I want to go to Egypt, bro. You know what I mean? See, that's what I think. There's a lot of places in Africa that would be dope. Yes, bro. Ancient Babylon, bro. Like I would, I would want to go there, bro. Like I would want to go to ancient Babylon, like straight the fuck up. Like that's the one in Egypt. uh, You know, that's like a part of ancient Babylon, essentially. Uh, I'd probably say there, Italy. Um, yeah. Europe. There's a lot of places in Europe that would be a lot dope. of cool. Shit yeah, in Europe. straight up. Have been all over Europe. Brazil. Europe. I'd like to go. That's to what I'm saying, Brazil. There's a lot of places in South America. I'd like to see. <laughs> New Zealand. One of the coolest fucking places I've ever been. Prague <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> was awesome. Yeah. But yeah, I say New Zealand, Brazil, Australia. Yeah, Australia's up there for me, bro. Yeah, Let me fire. Like Australia. Australia's up there for me. That's why I'm so jealous of Nick, bro. Living yeah, the just shit, living bro. the life, baby. So shout out Rody, man. Yeah, Come on, bro. Rody, he's just bro. out here living, you lucky boy. Motherfucker. Live, yeah, living bro. in the outback, bro. Yeah. He's fighting I'm sick of you. Man-eating spiders Believe that. He's fighting, he's fighting. He's fighting. Living in the heat. Hey, uh, <laughs> motherfucker's he, fighting the dark arts for real, bro. He ain't playing around, dude. Yeah, he out here. He fighting the dark arts, bro. That motherfucker with the Death Eaters for real, bro. Believe that, dude. Throwing hands with the Death Eaters. He out there with Nagini, bro. Like fucking anacondas. Yeah, shit. putting hands and feet on him. Believe that, bro. That's fucking real Crocs shit right there. Yeah. Shit out there, bro. Crocs, bro. That's Big a ass scary bugs. one, dude. Like, Big ass yeah. bugs, bro. Bugs. And I hate yeah. bugs. Mosquitoes from like Jumanji and yeah, shit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, Fuck all that. <clears throat> Make no mistake, though. Yeah, you think South America's any better? No, nah. no, no, but nah. I'd love to go there, bro. But there's a lot of, there's a lot of shit I'd like yeah. to go. There's Honestly, a lot of places yeah. in South America that's a lot more, <laughs> like, tame I, when it comes to right. shit like that, that's though. What Australia's kind of fucked up all over the place, I feel like. Yeah. I mean, I've never been there, so I don't know, but When you talk about traveling, like, though, what comes to my mind is there's certain places <clears throat> that I would be weary about going to because of the language barrier. Yeah, I would have to tough. make sure that I had my shit set up right, yeah. and I knew where I was going, and that I would have people that... You know what I'm saying? Because right. there's a language barrier that's oh, serious in Very. most and it's foreign countries. Travel. Yeah. It's well, we got phones form. now, so it's a lot different. A you can kind, of, you can kind of like, well, oh, but depending on dialect. People in different countries speak a little bit of English. Mm-hmm. What you got now? Worry it's about, worldwide. What you got to worry about it's is you trust. right? Is they mm-hmm. take advantage of you, yeah. fucking rob you, rape mm-hmm. you, leave you in right. a fucking that's for real. That's what I'm saying, man. Alley somewhere, you know, like, you never know. Like traveling abroad, man. Yeah. You've got to know balls where, soft and like, ass hurting. You feel me? Socks are off, cause like planning your trip out and knowing where you're going because those language barriers over there, that's no joke, man. And that's you really have to be able to communicate with people to like some hostile shit. Yeah, that's what uh, over there, for real, real, yeah. yeah. For but some like, Chernobyl but, shit, for, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wandering into the wrong fucking part yeah. of the city and not get to come home. And, and the thing <laughs> is, man, is like, 
excuse me, what I was going to say is like, you know, depending on dialect, you can typically Google Translate damn near any language now to a degree. Now, yeah. So right now, if we talk well, about we're traveling. What if you traveling? service where you end up at, bro? Dude, I fucking did what all if you my get, traveling What if you get, no what if you get to the phone. airport and you, got, you don't have service you and your a phone satellite phone, motherfucker, <laughs> like you're hitting and you ain't getting no fucking internet. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You like, stop at the airport and pick up a little fucking a, a travel boat. Yeah. You have to, bro. Just to cover your tracks. Just to cover your ass. Basic phrases and shit. Yeah, yeah I guess you... But then, that's <laughs> Language barrier is a scary one, that's though, serious, bro. Man. You know what I mean? I mean, as men, as grown men, it was not as scary for us. Right. Because we can, we can kind of, like, we can survive in anything almost, I feel like. You know that's what I mean? It, yeah. But, like, as a, you know, from a woman perspective... Adapt to survive. Exactly. We would adapt and yeah. overcome, but from a woman's perspective, man, I yeah, would be terrified for, sure. for a woman to travel by herself. Oh, absolutely. You but know, like, go like, abroad? Like, yeah. bro, it ain't the 80s, bro. Like, like, shit is different I mean, now. It's Motherfuckers dangerous are, just to travel across this country. Bro, but it's, it's tra- travel, they just tra- to, travel across the fucking uh, state, yeah, bro. Like, you know what I mean? Like, where you, for real. Nobody speaks English. Exactly. But, but that's, that, that's think, when it gets like, intense. When you're at, you know like, I mean? a Mexican restaurant or a, a, you know, an Asian restaurant. Yeah. And you hear Fuck, them. I work at one, bro, and I can't pick up nothing. to each other. Right. Like, do you not wonder what they're saying? Oh yeah, bro. The thing is, you know what is, I mean. Like, if uh, you if you had a translator like in your ear just <laughs> telling you what they were saying, do you never wonder if they're talking about you? Here's the thing. Because I do. Here's the thing. You know what I mean, bro? Or, or like at a Asian like a, a the like nail a, text. The nail salon. Nail text. Yeah. I guarantee Laundry those. Messages, like you like know that. what I mean, like yeah. I think about that. The thing. I mean, Gas I, I, stations with the yeah. Like I work with Asians, bro. And the thing right. is, is like even if you had the translator, you still couldn't pick up what they're saying because they use a lot of in-house slang. Like, there's shit that me and you could yeah. look at each other and say. Nobody else would understand, saying, bro. If you were fluent if in you that could, language, you would understand. I'll tell you right now, being by... If be, you're fluent being, in that language like they are. You could understand. You could pick up what they're talking about. I'm yeah. saying, if but you some were just of the shit's bi- in-house. Like, if you were just like... If you, if you were just a language expert, or whatever they call it. A linguist. Bi- you yeah, call a linguist, it, right? yeah. And not bilingual, because that's yeah, exactly, just two, that's right? Yeah, exactly, that's two. Linguist, yeah. If you're yeah. multilingual, and yeah. you could speak... It, all the different languages that you shit. would be hearing normally, yeah. dude. My thing is, I feel like, like I just wonder, man. What are these? What are these motherfuckers saying about me whenever not I'm good, eating not that Super things. China buffet? Not good things. <laughs> it's a difference, like between the way we talk and the way they talk in London. Yeah, you know, we're both yeah. speaking English, mm-hmm. but it's I don't a understand different what dialect. The fuck they very say different, bro. Yeah, like you know, and that's what I was saying in the sense of like. Damn, I lost what I was saying. That's just you like bastard. Spanish people. I had a that's point, like motherfucker. Oh, point. Jesus. I was Spanish people are Mexicans. Thing. Like, it? people from Mexico oh, yeah. and people from Spain, they yeah, speak very different. different. Spanish. Yeah, yeah. It's a di- the it's dialect thing. Spanish. Yeah. You know, oh, that's what I was going to say. It's a different kind so, of Spanish. Bro, I feel like human beings, if you're bilingual, you're automatically better than everybody. Straight the fuck <laughs> up. If you can speak two languages, you're better than everybody else. And I'm jealous, Most. bro. Like straight up, like you are a better Most human. Average Americans only speak English. That's what right. I'm saying. But people in the, the like in the world, but they say English is the hardest language to learn. Ah, right. there's no way it's harder That's than Mandarin, bro. There's no fucking way. Yeah. Or like think about like tribes in Africa that like only have noises for their thing. It's not like a. Uh, you get what I mean? Like it's a very different thing. And also or Russian. Like some, or like, I feel like yeah. Russian would be hard as fuck to or learn. Like some Sumerian. Bro. Is it like yeah, hundred you know percent? Like like, that, like yeah, that's a, what they wrote. That's a language, right? It was like, at one time. Type shit. It was like it, 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 it was like, like Latin. Latin. Like, yeah, Latin. like Latin, exactly. Yeah. But I mean, you you still like it, Aztec you warrior type you can't, shit, bro. Like, speak it like no. in conversation, right, right. but it's still but you could a write language. it out and and, and, and like and, and decode and speak, it. Yeah, you know, like, like see what the hieroglyphics tell you, bro. Because the dude who did that from the ancient Sumerian culture, like he tried to depict what he could and like decipher the shit that they were Sumerian talking about back then. Deep shit, like deep, bro. I still feel like maybe maybe Russian might be the hardest. Yeah. Or like, or Russian. Mandarin, bro. I mean, Mandarin, Mandarin and bro. English are the two Mandarin artists. is tough, bro. Like even listening to it's tough because right. there's a lot of stutters and loudness and like yelling. But it's Korean? not. Korean might be tough yeah. too. That might be fucking Korean. tough. Any, any, any of those? Uh, I mean, Korean, Japanese, difficult. Mandarin, yeah. any of those over there, I feel like. But I, and then, uh, like you said, you go to some of the tribes in Africa. Mandarin's number one, oh, but. Shit. <laughs> then there's, Arabic, there's then many. Japanese, then Hungarian, then Korean, then Finnish. Think Hold of all on, the ones that you up. don't know about, bro. Straight all these up. little like, tribes like, that are not actually like was, registered that's, languages. Yeah, straight up. That's Indigenous people. Type you know? shit. They're wearing like, you know, like uh, like loincloths and shit, yeah. you know, like living like off the land for real. Yeah. There's not many left, but there is still some. There, yeah, few and far between, but there yeah. are some out there. Island, that Sentio Island. The one where the... Uh, the Jehovah's yeah, Witnesses yeah. went. They got killed. Got shot by Bozeman. You didn't. Uh, 
You were I don't gone. Even, I don't think it was you were gone when Witness, but it, it was, was like a uh, preacher. Yeah, it was, it was like, like some kind of religious. There's a, an island that you're not supposed to go to because mm-hmm. these people have never been touched by society. They not domesticated at all. Not at yeah. all. Like they and anybody that tries to come on their island, they kill them. Like they just there's only I think at one point there was like you know 500 people on the island. <laughs> now there's you know, anywhere from just savage living. Yeah. I was like, gonna say like fifty to one hundred and fifty or some yeah, shit. Like it did. It, they've yeah. down, but yeah. just like a year, maybe two years ago, this fucking uh, this religious guy. I don't remember what religion he was. He was he Christian. To, something along those 100%. lines. Hundred like, percent. Yeah. You called him Jehovah's a preacher, Witness, a right? preacher of that's some still, sort. Still, holy man. Jehovah's Witness is still sort. technically Christian, though, right? No. Then what would it be considered? I think they're closer to Mormons than they really? are. Really? Damn. Yeah. Well, let me see no, here. What? Okay, so this dude this showed up on this he island trying to help him or something the beach, like... And they've got video from the boat. Uh, they fucking came out with spears, bows, and arrows and killed his ass right there on the fucking beach. Straight up. And then drug his body off into the jungle. Yeah, wow. bro. Yeah. Like, it's, 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 it was on the news and shit. It's Christian it uh, really? denomination. Yeah, absolutely. They use the Bible because he got killed with the Bible. Like he had a Bible uh, trying to like convert these motherfuckers bro, to love God. That, there is so the many Bible different domi- denominations things. of Christianity. Exactly. exactly. That's but what I'm saying you know, is like Baptist, Methodist, up, you know, disi- disciples of Christ. Yeah. You know what I mean, are like, Mormons technically Christians too? I don't think so. I don't know. I don't think so. Mormon. I, are, are That's tough. I'll probably piss Catholic? a lot of people off, but I think Mormons are closer to a cult than a religion. <laughs> yeah, straight up, shit. bro. Sorry. Especially like Oops. the the what is it? The LDS, the, the oh, fundamentalists. The, the first ones. The, bro, there's a the, <coughs> those fucking. People <coughs> there's live a documentary out in about it. City, yeah. A documentary about Warren it, bro. Jeffs, it, all yes, that Warren, shit. Yep, yeah. yep. Those people were some real oh, creeps. I met some of them bro. people. I went through that city one time. That's crazy, And it was bro. wild. Hey, shout out the Crescians. You feel me? Like, <laughs> shout out Waco. You know what I mean? Who? Like Crescian? <laughs> what happened Cresean, to Crescian, bro? Crescian. Yeah. Hey, it says number eight on the hardest language to learn is Navajo. Yeah. Think about all the Native American languages. That's, 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 that's what I went to. Yeah, Whenever you were talking about people living in loincloths, that's why I was thinking like Native, Native Americans, Americans. They got their own shit, too, yeah. man. There were so many different languages that they spoke. And then, yeah, uh, but most Icelandic. of them, are, most Fucking of that shit's been United States government you know. pretty much extinct. All yeah, that's Polish. what I'm saying. Shout most out of that's my been country, gone. baby. Let's go, number ten. You a fucking Polak. Slavic. Slavic language after Rush. You look like a Slavic. Believe that. I'm, I'm mighty Slavic out here. Let's go. <laughs> mighty duck. Mighty duck, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. It's Fucking really crazy, crazy bro. Fucking crazy. But hey, this has been a dope ass episode. I appreciate you all tuning in for uh, Together FTR. Thank you so much. Make much sure love. to subscribe and hit the bell on YouTube. And when you see this, if you know any of us, tag one of us, tag all three. I really appreciate everybody. Thank you so much. Have a blessed night. Peace out.